Hello friends, in this video we'll be discussing what exactly is chi-square test and what are the different types of problems. Till now we are done with sampling, now we are starting with chi-square. You might be thinking what is the difference between chi-square and sampling, is there any relation? Yes, there is a relation. If a test is parametric test, then it is sampling and if the test is non-parametric test, it is chi-square. Now what do you mean by that? Now friends, always remember, if problem is of sampling type, you will get the words like mean, standard deviation, sample, population. Here the problems will be different. What exactly will the problem? We'll discuss in the problems and you'll get to know that. As of now, let's discuss chi-square. There are two types in chi-square. The first is test for goodness of fit and the second one is test for independence of attribute so these are the two types of problems and the formula for chi square is this this is not x this is chi square symbol is like this o indicates observed frequency e is expected frequency so this is the formula for both the types now let's discuss what are the steps involved for both the types. The steps are exactly similar that we followed in case of sampling. So if you haven't learned sampling, so let me revise steps for you. Steps number one is your null hypothesis. Step number two, alternate hypothesis. What is third step? Yes, LOS. LOS stands for level of significance and you need a concept called degree of freedom and the formula for degree of freedom is n minus 1. Next step number 4. Step number 4 is your calculation part and calculation will be done by using the formula this chi square is equal to summation of observed minus expected the whole square upon expected and step number five is conclusion as discussed early the same thing if mod of chi square less than chi square alpha this is one possibility then accept nh and reject ah please remember this and if mod of chi square is greater than chi square alpha then reject nh and accept ah so these are the five steps through which all the problems will be solved two types of problem test for goodness of it test of independence of attributes here the difference is in case of goodness of fit there will be problem revolving around one attribute here there will be multiple attributes so what exactly mean by that we'll see in the problems one more thing how to find the value of chi square this is very important chi square alpha suppose let me assume degree of freedom let's say 6 and los let's say 5 percent this is my assumption and what is 5% assumption? 5% LOS means 0 0.05. So how I'm going to check? For 6 degree of freedom, 0 0.05. So this is the value. You're going to check this way. So this is the value of chi square alpha. That is 12.592. So this is one value that we have found out. Let's check out for one more value. Let's say 10 degree of freedom. And suppose you have LOS as 10%. 10% means 0.1. So 10 degree of freedom, 10% LOS, this is the value. And the value of chi square alpha will be 15.987. So this is the way we're going to check for chi square alpha value. Now, friends, one more thing test of goodness of fit and test of independence of attributes in both the cases null hypothesis alternate hypothesis assumptions are also different so that will discussed in the next videos hope you are clear with the introduction in the next videos we'll see how to problem solve based on this thank you